So what was the conclusion of Hollich and Lenard's observation? It was conclusion that some negatively charged particles were emitted by the zinc plate when exposed to the ultraviolet light. So that's why we had studied this production of photoelectric current. So see, this is the plate here, cathode. Ultraviolet light is falling on this. Electrons are getting emitted through this. So this loop is getting completed. This is called like a capacitor plate. We can say this is positively charged plate. This is a negatively charged plate with the help of this battery. So when this is falling on this cathode, so electrons are emitting and loop is getting completed and a current is getting flow. If there will be no ultraviolet light, so no electron will emit from the cathode and they will reach to anode and there will be no photoelectric current. So that's all about the photoelectric current. Next, now phenomena. What is photoelectric? The phenomena of emission of electron from the metal surface when electromagnetic radiation of sufficient high frequency. This is very important. Why? Because if frequency will be high, energy will be high. Our incident on it is called photoelectric effect. The photo means light generated electron are called photoelectron. It means with the help of which the light is being generated, they are called photo electrons so that's all about the photoelectric effect and next now experimental study of the photoelectric effect after the Leonard experiment after the Hertz experiment so this conclusion we had made so what are the experimental study so see we had made the vacuum tube here glass evacuated glass tube means no matter is present over there so from here sunlight light is getting radiated over here this is cathode with the help of this battery this is negatively charged high voltage and this is positively charged so as this energy is sorry radiation is falling on this metal electron are getting ejected only suitable radiation not all radiation are able to emit the electron so this is called quartz window this is called photosensitive plate this is called evacuation tube this is called collector why it is called collector because it is collecting all the electron which are emitted through the cathode it is collecting to them it is micro ampere it means a small amount of current is flowing which is called photoelectric current this is the potential divider so which is dividing this potential high terminal box here this is the key by putting on and off i am applying but potential difference here so see what conclusion we had made here understood so there are the four conclusion we will study here understood so which you have to study with the help of these graphs so first of all effect of intensity of light on photoelectric current so it means how the current is changing if intensity is changing intensity have we got intensity it means more photons are falling on this cathode so if more photons will fall so what will happen more electron will get emit exactly if more electron are flowing so more will be the current this is so simple so that's why effect of intensity of light on photoelectric current so if more intensity of light is intensity of light means more number of photons are falling so photoelectric current will be high like this understood the next effect we will study one by one